This video is powered by ViewSonic. Hi guys, I hope you're well. If you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Bakemore and I'm a teacher here in Dubai. During my 15 weeks of online distance learning before the summer, children completed a range of different tasks using Google Slides. In addition, when I was teaching, I would also use Google Slides to share activities. Now, one of the problems I found when using Google Slides is the lack of the ability to write on the slides. As a result, when I was teaching, one of the things I would need to do is write on something like this, a whiteboard so that the children could see how I modeled. In this video, I wanna share with you how you can not only write on Google Slides, but also PowerPoint too, through the My View Board software. If the subscribe button down below is still red, please consider subscribing as I create a range of different teaching videos. So let's jump straight into the video. This is the My View Board that's going to allow us to write on Google Slides. Now to access this, you will need to go onto the My View Board. You will sign up using the link that I've shared in my description and then access the classroom page, which will take you through to something that looks like this. Now you will notice straight away that you have a pen available. So if you need to write, You've got that tool available there. We've also got a rubber and a range of other features that we're going to get into within this video. Now, this is an example of Google Slides. This also works with PowerPoint if you have that. And you can see it's just a pretty generic example math lesson. Now, one of the problems I have, which is where I then need a whiteboard, is if I'm sharing this with the learners, we've got 234 subtract 22. Well, how can I work this out? I want to model how to work this mathematical question out, but I cannot do that. So that's where this becomes useful. Now, if I go into file, I can then download this as a PDF. Now, it's really important you download this as a PDF or Microsoft PowerPoint because my view board handles both of those along with some other file formats. Now, if we access and download the PDF, what this will allow us to do now is download the example slides. Now, one thing I absolutely love is that we can go through to here and access these in a couple of different ways. So although I've told you to download your Google Slides, it's technically not something you actually need to do. Because you are able to bind your Google Drive to the My View Board, it's really simple using this magic box to access your Google Drive. You'll see a range of different folders that I have within my Google Drive. And then you've got some folders such as this presentation here too. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to access it through another source, I'm going to import it through my actual computer because I've downloaded the Google Slides. So I can import through there. One of the other things I like to do too is to drag and drop the example slides into the My View Board software. From there, it then starts to process and you'll need to import it. And as it's important, you could then explain to the children all the different things that you're going to be doing today. Once you've imported the Google Slides, then it's really simple to access all your other slides. You click on this tab here and then just flick through and just select tabs if you need to, or go back to the original, and then you don't actually have to have that open, you can just flick through. Now, because we have our pen tool, we're able to model exactly how to answer this question. So 234, subtract 22, could make this even better by having squares involved, which it's quite simple to do through here. Uh, so then we subtract the one, subtract the 10, subtract the 100, two, and then we can move our answer up here. So then once we've done that, we can then flick through our model in for the next part and you can get children involved through there. While you can write directly through using a mouse, the Woodpad is an effective tool for teachers and children to simulate using a pencil and paper through an accessory. In addition, ViewSonic creates a range of different monitors, such as the touchscreen monitor shown here, which makes using the My View Board software even more accessible. One of the things I also love is this magic box has so many different features. Now, if you are confused on how to use this, I've previously made a video sharing all the different features involved with My View Board, and you can access it in the link above. There's two features that I love the most. The first is the ability to drag and drop videos into the slides, and then you'd be able to play that by clicking this play button here and sharing it with the children. The second feature that I really enjoy is the ability to drag and drop pictures straight on. And you can imagine this would have been useful beforehand for modeling, just to use it here. And for me to be able to actually write onto here too, which would be quite beneficial for the children. In addition to the Google Drive binding that I showed you earlier, you can also bind it to your Google Classroom, which makes it very easy to share with children too. Now, the best feature is the collaborative element that is involved with my view board. 
Not only can you import things into this, you can also export them too. So if I were to go onto the files here, I can export it as a PDF to share with my learners, but I can also export it as a QuickBook or QB as this is called. And what this will allow me to do is to share it with learners. And if they have the My View Board software too, then they can import it into their My View Board and they can also manipulate and add things in too. If you wanted to share a screenshot, there's a really simple snap tool that will allow you to take a picture of the screen. Or if you wanted to record what you were doing as you were explaining things to the children, you could simply click on the record feature here and it would allow you to record your screen too. And I'm sure you'll agree, not only is this fantastic for writing on Google Slides, it's extremely adaptable for a range of different lessons too. As I said before, I have a video sharing exactly how to use this, so feel free to check that one out too. That marks the end of the video. I'm sure you can agree that the My View Board software is extremely powerful and gives you that opportunity to write on Google Slides, but also gives pupils the opportunity to use that software too. If you haven't already liked the video, feel free to do that. And if you aren't already subscribed, please do that because I create a range of teaching videos that I'm sure you will find helpful. Again, a big thank you to ViewSonic for sponsoring the video and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Until then, I'm out.